I'm going to show you how to add this really cool web design cost calculator to your website and link it into your Elementor form. And when you click send, you will get a summary of all of these details. This is so easy to do. And I'm going to show you. Now we're inside of Elementor and the original code for this calculator or the representation of it came from Canva code. Please go and watch my very detailed video about how I went and did that. But the basis is I got a bit of code and I stuck it into chat GPT to refine it. And I basically was able to create some CSS IDs. The idea is, is that this bit of code, when you pick any options, it feeds it over to the elemental form. Now, if I show you this bit of code over here, it is quite big. Okay. And there's lots of things going on in here with styling, etc. Now this code is in the video description. If you want to tinker with what I'm showing you here, the pricing that's been set, or you want to add some extra features, take that code, stick it into chat GPT and tell it what you want to change. Okay. And the more specific you are, the more accurate it will be. But the idea is, is that when you go in, increase the number of pages, it will add on additional costs. If you pick SEO, it adds on additional costs for SEO. If you just click e-commerce, it goes and adds on $2,000. You can activate or deactivate the base website as well, because maybe you just want to have performance optimization, but you don't need a website to be built. Or maybe you just need an investigation or a makeover. There's loads of variations you can do with this calculator. And this could be really cool on, say, a contact page or maybe even a home page, right? You know, I'll tell you all about my services. But if you now want to know a rough price, you've got to contact me. Well, if I tell you that the cost of your website just for a basic five pager is $1,500. By the way, I charge more than that, but I'm just putting an example here. If I'm saying the base is $1,500 and you are only ever going to pay $50, well, what's the point in contacting me? Let me now explain how this was built. We got a parent container set as a row. We've got various items in here. We've got two HTMLs. I'll explain what the second one is. And we got another container in here or a child container. And that contains a bit of text. So you could, you know, stick in social sharing icons or whatever you want. And then we have a form. Now, the second HTML will take the items that are in this HTML because I've assigned IDs to each of these. And this was all done with Canva code. All ChatGPT did was a little bit more to make sure it connected to the form. But here comes the really important bit. Believe me, the HTML is just the codey bit. It's the, what you do with the form, which is really clever. At the moment, I'm only showing you the name, the email, a message and a submit button. But behind the scenes, I've actually got all of these hidden fields the base website. So when I did the Canva code or chat GPT or wherever you do it, I said, if you pick this item, the ID for this item is base website. If you change the page count, page underscore count, e-commerce, SEO performance, uh, makeover, which is this one here, estimate cost, which is this over here, and then detailed breakdown, which is kind of now the breakdown of all of the items that you've gone and selected. So inside of my form, each of these is a hidden field, not a text field, not a number field. It is a hidden field. Whatever is the ID. So in my original code over here for the HTML, somewhere along here, it is going to go and set the IDs. I have said base underscore website because that's the ID. That is the label. You won't see it because it's a hidden field, right? And in the advanced tab, the ID is also base website. If we go to SEO, the label is SEO. And the ID is SEO as well. You've got to make sure you do a one-to-one -one relationship here, right? Okay. So if I've called it estimate cost, the advanced tab is also estimate cost. Now inside of my form, I did not drop any other extra HTML. HTML I did not drop any other extra HTML. All I did was just go and say, I am going to have two emails for it to go to. So the first email will come over to me, the admin. The second email will use the field ID, which is email. So if we go back over to my form fields here in the email, the standard short code for your email is always field ID equals email. 
So I've then gone and said, okay, when you now hear action for submit and you can add a thank you page or redirect or take you somewhere else or whatever, I want a copy of what the user does to go back to them as well. The starting cost is 1,500. If I untick that, it jumps down to zero. If I go and click, say performance, it just goes to 600. This is pretty versatile, right? Let's just take this off. Let's go for 1,500. I'm now going to pick SEO. That's added on 800. I now realize I actually want 10 pages for my website. So I'm now going to increase that to 10. This cost has gone up to 3,925. Why? We start at 1,500 and then we add on an extra 1,125 because it's 225 per page. So 225 times 5 equals 1,125. SEO started off at 800 plus $500 because there's $100 per additional page. Oh, we want the e-commerce as well. Yeah, I want performance optimization. Yeah, I want the investigation make. I don't know why you'd want all of that, but let's just say you did. We've now come to 7,725. I've entered in a basic message. I'm going to hit the send button. That is now gone. And I'm now going to show you the email I get. And if you don't want to see all of these details, you can go and mess around with the HTML code. But it's basically giving me a summary of who they were, what was the message. They'll get a copy of that. You'll get a copy of it. Don't get me wrong. You can mess around with the HTML to make it more polished with a bit more branding. But I've given you now the building blocks to add a funky cost calculator to your home page or a contact page or somewhere else. I mean, this is so damn good. Canva code did some amazing work. And if you haven't watched my video on that, you definitely want to go and watch it. But you could now add something like this to your website, a calculator. And just think of what I did here. Maybe you've got like an architect or a dentist or someone who likes to have a calculator for how much wood you would need to use to do some decking in your garden or something like that. Think of the calculators you're currently using. Some of them are premium. Some of them you don't get a huge amount of features or it's very set as to the style of it. And imagine what you could do next. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.